It can be scary to step outside your comfort zone. Scary to mark your body forever with the places you've been. But life is about the journey, not the destination, right? Y'all talking shit? Are they talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> They're talking shit. <laughs> streets are so twisted and turny and like a fucking puzzle is because back in the day they wanted to confuse the pirates that came into town and make them get lost and I feel like a pirate right now <laughs> dead end <laughs> shit oh there's a sign fish tavern this way okay I'll go this way <laughs> fuck I'm just trying to get a tattoo but I can't even find the place anymore <laughs> Πιστεύω πως γεννήθηκα να κάνω τατουάζ. Πάντα το θαύμαζα να το βλέπω σε άλλους από μικρό παιδί. Το θεωρούσα κάτι wow, κάτι απίστευτο. Πες τις αυτό. Yeah. Μου άρεσε πολύ να ζωγραφίζω. This. That was the first one? Yes. Το πρώτο τατουάζ, ένα πάπυρο. Πιστεύω ότι ό,τι και να δοκιμάσω να κάνω, το κάνω καλά. Πες τις. Αλλά το τατου, πιστεύω ότι γεννήθηκα να κάνω τα τουάζ. Γι' αυτό σου λέω, το μετάφερε mm -hmm. ακριβώ αυτό. Ναι. Πιστεύω ότι γεννήθηκα να κάνω τα τουάζ. Αυτό θέλω να κάνω την υπόλοιπη ζωή μου, γιατί το λατρεύω, το αγαπάω. Όχι. Ε, μ' αρέσει που εξελίχθηκα σιγά σιγά και εξελίσσομαι κάθε μέρα περισσότερο. Πες της. Ε, να ξεκινήσω από το μηδέν για να, κατα... να καταφέρω να φτάσω. ξέρει. Λέμε, λέμε. Όλου του καλλιτέχνε ε, του εξωτερικού. Ε, μου αρέσει πολύ ο Μπέντζα Μιλαούκη. And uh, myself, first is. Και έχω βάλει σκοπό πες στη ζωή μου να γίνω όσο μπορώ καλύτερο. Τα του Εάν δεν το αγαπάει αυτό που θα κάνει, ε, δεν θα προχωρήσει. Αλλά σίγουρα θέλει πολύ υπομονή, πες της, mm -hmm. Και χρόνο να αφουσιωθεί σε 100% πάνω στο τα Δηλαδή να μην κάνει τίποτα απολύτω άλλο, μόνο τα του. Mm -hmm. Να ασχοληθεί με αυτό. Mm -hmm. Τώρα, Facebook. Τώρα, Τώρα είμαι στο τα του Art Mykonos. In the spring of 2018, one of my best friends passed away. And it's interesting how when someone passes away, you feel like you're closer to them. Here's a little bit of the backstory of what happened to Chris. Oh my god, it's like the opening shot of a movie, dude. Unfortunately, he had a brain aneurysm. What we're wanting to do is raise money for his family, for the costs associated with the medical bills, and anything else that they need. So if you would like to be a part of that, we would love it. And uh, you can check out the links in the description or wherever they are. And if you guys don't want to donate or can't donate, please at least share the video for us so that we can get the word out to people who can. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, the host of the shoot kind of failed. Of course. I'm ready. I'm glad. You're scared? I'm so good. I don't know what to do. It changed my mind. It changed my mind. Let's go. Huh? This is gonna be so easy. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. And now color. Color. Okay. Perfect. Hey, color. Oh my god. 
I'm literally becoming Spider-Man. Also. Ryan, when all your homies come in from the UK to do your crazy shit in LA, please call me. Burkle, make it happen, dude. Kill it. Let's go. Let's go. It's just the loudness of the fucking machine that makes it, like, seem like it would hurt a lot more. Not that it doesn't hurt. I've been sitting here for four hours now, but, I mean, <laughs> we can't, can't stop now, can we? Otherwise, we'll have a half a done tattoo. But, uh, yeah. I'm taking a nap after this push show. When in Greece, do as the Greeks do or something like that. I don't know. You're doing the guy? Yes. With Chris's passing, I feel like I've grown closer to him as a friend and as a family member. So, obviously, as you know by the title, that's why I wanted to get this tattoo. It represents my love for Chris, my love for Spider-Man, my love for the hero, the underdog, and it's also to show support to my friend Victor, Vikers. He took this photo of Chris out in the desert in Joshua Tree, and behind him is the Milky Way, and this image really, really impacted me. It's This is the part of the tattoo people don't want you to see because this is the part that sucks. We're almost done. We probably have like half an hour left, but like my body is dusted. I'm so tired. So I'm like fighting myself to stay still so we can finish this. But it's so bad right now. Anyone that tells you tattoos don't hurt are straight lying to your face. If they didn't hurt, everyone would have them. That's you, Chris. That's all you. So the the guy you just tattooed, mm -hmm. that's my friend that just died. Wow. Yeah. So that's special. Sorry. No, it's special. Thank you. Are you done? What? Done? Done. Are you done? Finished? No. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm so tired now. I'm gonna yeah. take a nap. I'm gonna take a nap after this for sure. Who would have thought laying here could be so tiring? Marcos doesn't speak English. <laughs> you try to talk yourself out of the pain, but... And you know it's temporary, but it still hurts. It still fucking sucks. Oh, Marcos, it hurts! You had one notification, Google shots. It's just photo stuff. 
It's about dogfighting in the Middle East. It was the first documentary I ever made and probably my favorite, so, yeah. When I did research about the dog and what happened to him before uh, he came to me, he was basically locked up in a small cage and that was his life. They took him out, tried to uh, make him into a fighting dog and um, since that didn't work, he spent his time in a cage. And I mean, as any animal or person or whatever who gets locked up in a small, tight space, they either get nuts or um, something else. And he became something else. He's a great family dog. And he loves kids for breakfast, for lunch, evening dinner. You thought it was cool? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the first one movie I ever made. Really? That was in uh, 2011. It has the Apple tray, let's say. Yeah. Is that what I mean? Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's the, like, the story was just like, he was my neighbor. The, the guy. guy. Yeah, and I saw his dog walking all weird and I asked what happened. And he told me and I said, can I make a movie? He said, yeah. So I did. <laughs> this fool about to put white liner on me? I hate you. Why? Because it's the worst part. This is... <laughs> the white is the worst. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know. My whole ribs I had to do. Yeah. 
Yes, of course. Done? It's been Bravo! Oh my god! You are the best. You are the best. Thank you. You're welcome. And you, and you. <laughs> if, I am. Yeah. If Cristo. <laughs> you did it. It's done. Christopher, rest in peace, my friend. Oh man, this is the moment. Oh my God, dude, that's unreal. That's amazing. Holy shit, you did a great job. It's good. You did a great job. You did a great job. Thank you very much. I love it. Oh. on all the things or get out you know okay tell them to subscribe hello say subscribe Timothy? subscribe yes. subscribe subscribe <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. bye thank you bye.